good day to you and good day to this channel and it's time for another unboxing and if you're new here welcome to the channel and if you have been here on this channel for a while welcome back i appreciate all of your support and we're getting closer to that 600 subscriber giveaway uh 30 some subscribers away so hopefully we'll get there soon and we can get that uh giveaway up and running today we're brought to you by the really crappy minnesota sports teams this uh one today is the minnesota twins and they are just not doing good at all at all so yeah but that's the norm for us fans here in Minnesota. Haven't won a championship since 91. Uh, a male championship. Females basketball, the Lynx, have dominated. They've crushed. So uh, over the last decade or so, they've won a, quite a bit of championships. So yes, uh, those championships do count. Uh, male sports teams, no. Uh, they haven't done good. So uh, the females are, are keeping Minnesota alive. I love it. But <clears throat> we're not here to talk about Minnesota sports. We're here to talk about uh, the streak of me doing unboxings. And that's long. It's, it's pretty long. Um, I've been doing this now for a couple months. And that's what we do on this channel is we unbox. And I've got a good streak going. Kind of like The Undertaker had a good streak going at WrestleMania until... Brocky Brockington came in and beat the streak. Put old Undertaker at 21-1. and one. Yeah, this is the Toys R Us exclusive pay-per-view headquarters. Brock Lesnar WrestleMania 30, uh, where the Brockster beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania. <laughs> Which... I don't know what your guys' thoughts are. Share that in the comments if you'd like. I'd, I'd appreciate to know what your thoughts are. I know somebody already commented on the short about this that uh, they don't think Brock should have been the one to beat him. Um, I, I have to agree with that. I don't think Brock needed a push at that time. I think he was already a big deal. Um, I don't know who would have been the right person to beat him. I think I put on that comment, I don't think anybody should have beat him. I just think The Undertaker should have just rode off 25 an hour or whatever he ended up being 30 an hour or whatever it was how many ever wrestlemanias he competed in um but that's not what happened lesnar beats the streak so yeah there's a glamour shot and a glamour shot and it does say elite on this side and a glamour shot down there and on the back we got paul Heyman saying oh my goodness this guy just beat the Undertaker. It does say Lesnar breaks the streak 21 and 1. <clears throat> Excuse me, Brock Lesnar. Shortly after his debut on Raw in 2002, it became apparent that Brock Lesnar possessed superhuman strength and inhuman intensity. Within six months of his debut, he became the youngest WWE champion in history. After a hi hiatus from WWE, he returned like a runway train in 2012, still as physically dominant as ever. The Beast Incarnate ran through future WWE Hall of Famers like John Cena, Big Show, and Triple H. I have to go like this and really enunciate all of my words and really put effort into speaking. Otherwise, I do not speak the best. Let's get back to it. Uh, he beat future WWE Hall of Famers like John Cena, Big Show, and Triple H. When Undertaker challenged Lesnar to a match at WrestleMania 30, Lesnar had a single focus, eat, sleep, break the streak. Undertaker's unbeaten streak at WrestleMania stood at an intimidating 21-0, and many believed that the dead man would never lose at the signature event. Brock, however, had different ideas. <coughs> Excuse me again. He charged at Undertaker with the unbridled rage that has become his trademark. After an intense battle, the dead man attempted to deliver a second tombstone on Lesnar, but the Beast Incarnate reversed it and landed his signature F5 maneuver. The WWE Universe stood anticipating that Undertaker would kick out of the pin attempt, but he didn't. Not this time. 
They said no man could break Undertaker's vaunted WrestleMania streak, but what about a beast? On April 6, 2014, Lesnar did the very thing his t-shirt promised. He beat the streak. Yeah. <clears throat> so again, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that. Um, yeah, Leave them in the comments and let me know what you think. But let's get Lesnar out of the box and see what he's all about. Here he is. He's out of the box. And we went ahead and placed that beanie right on his head because that's where it goes. And yeah, it does come with that beanie. His shirt is removable. It's that hard plastic stuff, so we're not going to take it off. We're just going to leave it on since it's nice and secure on him right now. Uh, he does have his little Les Lesnar logo underneath his pants. It's that same logo that's right there on his shorts. Um, or I should say the, the logo is underneath his shirt on his pants. Yeah. Um, he's got a little smirk on his face. I don't know if you can see it there. A little smirky smirk, smiley, happy, smirky smirk, smirk and ten. That's what he's got going on. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's get him up on the Lesnar shelf and see what he looks like next to the other dudes. There he is. He's hanging out next to the other Brocks I have. And, yeah, that's what we're working with right now. We got five of them up there, which are kind of neat. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And if you know math and you count one by one, you can add things up. It's called addition. And that's one, two, three, four, five. And that's how addition works. So, yeah, now we have five. And, again, he... He ate, he slept, and he broke the streak, and he's on the shelf now. Uh, again, I appreciate all you guys watching, subscribing, hitting that like button, sharing videos, commenting, doing all that good stuff. Let's get to that 600 subscriber giveaway. Let's, let's figure that out. And hopefully, once we do, we can do that giveaway. And hopefully, we'll see you on the next video. WrestleMania Brock Lesnar, Streak Breaker. Oh.